It's just me trying to make a laugh. I don't know. Good morning, friends. Four in the morning. I guess it's the morning. <laughs> I'm standing here staring at a wall. I woke up at like 2 a.m. And I'm like, what, what am I going to do? I guess I'll stare at the wall until it's daylight out. <laughs> oh, we're probably going to be a little bored and or drowsy later, but that's just fine. I got a little more of this filet. I think I ate half of it already, so that should bring me down to just one. There it is. And uh, I thought I had some water. Hmm. Bummer. We'll go into the house uh, that that zombie broke in yesterday, get a little drinky drink, and hopefully we can we can find some adventure today. I think we're gonna go up north, and I'll probably end up uh, camping out somewhere, because I've scavenged everything that's relatively close to the house. So I've got uh, canned goods and things that I didn't take from a lot of houses just because I want to be able to do second scavenging runs, especially when things start to run out, i.e. power, i.e. water, but um, yeah, that's that's not happened yet. We're doing really, really well. I guess maybe uh, maybe in the third month, <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna run out finally. But oh my god, what are you guys doing over here, bro? You can't be over here. I live like right over there. You can't be over here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry this had to happen. I didn't want it to be this way. Oh, and he got a credit card. I'll use my credit card. Wow. More credit cards. Never leave home without it. So they tell me. I never had a credit card. I didn't trust myself with that level of power. And my mom's like, oh, you should just use it to, to build credit. And I'm like, mm, that's not what's going to happen if I have one. <laughs> Maybe now. Now that I'm like almost 30, I think probably I, I realize that money's not just like a free thing. That you can you can do whatever the fuck you want. But uh yeah, at 18 or 19, especially in the Navy, who buddy. No no no. That would not be a good idea. My mom's like, just buy some deodorant, and as long as you pay it off every month, you'll you'll build credit. <laughs> no, thank you. I bought uh, my first car. It's a Ford Mustang on credit, and uh, I, I paid it back, and so my credit rating is relatively good, and uh, I just didn't want to take the chance to fuck that up, because I, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what would happen if I tried it. If I tried it! And, um, yeah. Maybe next time I get one of them things in the mail, I'm gonna open it up and be like, yeah, this is what I want to do now, but uh, probably not. <laughs> it still scares the shit out of me just a little bit. Especially with like the, the huge annual percentage rates, like 20% APR or some shit. It's like, okay, you pay somebody $100 and then you pay them back $120? That's a lot. <laughs> That's a huge chunk if you think about it. Well, just don't stop to think about it. Especially if you're like going up into the thousands and you're paying an extra $200? No thanks, bro. I don't want it. You can keep that shit. <laughs> Here I'm talking about like percentage rates and shit in the apocalypse where uh, that shit doesn't apply anymore. Guess what? If you found it, it's yours. Good job. Congratulations. I'm really hoping I can find like a, a survivor map or something. That was one of the things that was added in the most recent updates. I think we're on build like 37.11 or something, which is pretty impressive considering this playthrough started on build. Ooh, see, there's a map right there. I think this this playthrough started on build uh, 34. Maybe somebody can correct me on that. But uh, yeah, we've seen a lot of different stuff come and go, including like a graphics overhaul and shit like that which uh, I still find pretty impressive. I'm really glad that they updated it. They stepped their game up. Um, and you know, Indie Stone is in it to win it. That is for sure. At first, I I was, I was, had some trepidation about early access games. I'm like, mm, give people money for a game that isn't finished? I don't know about that. But the money can help them finish it. Well, why don't they finish it and then bring it to me? And I'll think about it. <laughs> But uh, after playing Project Zomboid, I'm like, okay, they're not all losers. 
I, I, I'll admit that uh, a lot of them out there are. You definitely need to be careful with your money. What is that one fucking game? Playing Tosh bought, uh, like, some dinosaur game. Beasts of Prey. And, uh, yeah, it basically ended up getting dumped halfway through early access. The devs were like, eh, we don't want to do this anymore. And so what are you left with? A $15 piece of shit. You know what I mean? You're not going to get that money back. You just have a, a basically unplayable game in your Steam library. No way to remove it. No way to refund it. Uh, there might be now, though. They did implement refunds since we bought it, but we bought that shit way before refunds were a thing. So, uh, SOL, as far as I'm concerned. Which, um, you know, I'm not extremely sad about, I guess, because it wasn't my money. <laughs> but I feel bad for playing Tosh, especially because we never made an episode for it. You know, we... we had a lot of plans. We did like a little a little test base and stuff, but uh, yeah, the PvP was just junk. The building was garbage, and uh, the devs couldn't be asked to, asked to try and fix it, even though I'm sure they were raking in thousands of dollars every month. They're just like, eh, whatever. Fuck this player base. Bye. <laughs> and uh, I wish I knew the names of the devs. So I could uh, call them out and be like, watch out for these assholes. Don't buy anything they make ever. For reals. Ooh, bicycle repair manual. Now I know how to disassemble a bicycle. <laughs> I, it seems pretty easy. I, I don't know why I need to read a book about it, but I did. I did. Everything seems pretty easy in theory. But uh, then you find out it ain't. You try it yourself, and you're like, holy shit, <laughs> this is more than I thought it was. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that always the truth? There's some pineapples and shit that I should probably move, but, um, yeah, I haven't even been back to the restaurant in a while. The food in the fridges is, is rotting over there. March Ridge Map. Can we read this map? Can I, can I read the map? I guess I can't read any of these maps. Oh, here. March Ridge, your country, your home. Community center, post office, cinema, school, church. Okay. I wanna... I wanna find like a secret stash or something. Restaurants and entertainment. I don't even know where March Ridge is. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Somebody help me. Can I piece all these maps together maybe? That would be a relatively cool thing. But what I read in the patch notes was like, there might be a... something marked out, like a, a secret stash or something like that. Hmm, this shovel might be good for digging up those uh, rotten zucchinis, so I'm gonna take it and give that a try at some point. Hmm... Yes, I'll have to keep an eye out for some more maps and hopefully they, uh... Won't just be like, here's a post office. Well, bitch, I know where the post office is. It says post office on the outside of it. I don't know where March Ridge is. Is that where I am right now? I don't understand. I don't know if you can see that uh, somebody added me to their friends list. But I will uh, get back to friending them shortly. I hope it's somebody who, who enjoys me on YouTube. That's the best sort of friend. And then... uh yeah, I'm relatively bad about responding to Steam messages, so if I don't respond to your Steam message, please don't take it personally. I am, uh, not at my workstation all the time. Oh, this is still all refrigerated. Hmm, but it's old. Ew! You want to eat an old tomato? Even if it's been refrigerated, it's been sitting there for a month, it's got like that, uh, that wrinkly shit going on? Are you going to be excited, or are you just going to, like, pass over that and throw it away? In the zombie apocalypse, you'd probably be excited for it, I guess, depending how hungry you are. Personally, me, I'm going to throw it away. <laughs> I got, like, five bases, son. I don't need that shit. Ooh, 345 rounds, Rosewood map, West Point map, some chimps. Mmm, I eat your chimps, boy. And then I've seen people uh, hauling around a big hiking bag just in their inventory and, like, switching it out with the one that's on their back in order to, to do some shit. 
So I think I might uh, start start trying to do that. It might be a good way to just uh, save a little weight, carry a little more, because that seems to be the problem. I went out for my expedition in the last, uh, well, it must have been three episodes ago now, but I had to come back relatively early because I'm like, I ain't got space for shit. <laughs> I guess I could go back out that way again, now that I uh, know my way around just a little bit. Oh man, there are so many zombies out here. Does that mean I've, I've not been this way? I guess that's what I take it to mean. I've not uh, visited this neck of the woods, at least not as often as some other necks of the woods. How many necks do these woods have? Is it like a, a hydra or some shit, where you just cut one off and then two more start growing? Because I'm pretty sure that's not how woods works. You gotta like blaze a trail and shit. Walk through the same path every single day like a rabbit does. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yes I do. I'm talking about rabbit runs. You know those those little trails that rabbits run across because they think food's there or some shit? Anybody know what I'm talking about? Just me? Alright. Alright. No problem. At least I do. Uh, rotten steak. I wonder if it's good if you cook it. It says it's better hot. Yes, steak is better hot. <laughs> no shit! You should heat that steak up if you want. Unless you really like steak tartare, which uh, I'm not gonna begrudge you for. Because I, I, I do enjoy a rare steak, that is true. But you, you gotta cook it. At least a little bit. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't understand. And here's uh, another another bookcase full of shit that uh, doesn't have what I want, probably. Locksmithing. Mmm, make a steel padlock. That's probably good for, like, multiplayer servers or something like that. But here, it's, it's just me. It's just me trying to make a laugh. I don't know. There's a broken window there. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't trust it. I'm gonna close these curtains before that guy uh, notices that I'm in here. I'm in here now. Box of mothballs. Okay. Wonderful. I haven't changed my underwear. Maybe we could do that. <laughs> really clean underwear and socks is what you should be grabbing from these houses, because you need that shit more than anything else. Hopefully it's, uh my size, you know. I don't want to be wearing like some nine-year-old kid's Batman underwear and having my my Jimmy squeezed, you know what I mean? That's no good for the running away from zombies. <sighs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, I just, I enjoy this series because it allows my mind to wander. This is probably uh, similar to how I would talk to myself if I was wandering through the zombie apocalypse. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Everything in here is rotten. Except the watermelon. I thought the watermelons were rotting first when we were playing uh, with Plantosh. Watermelons were always the first thing to go, and everything just seems backwards on my server. I don't know what the fuck I did or what, what happened. I tried to make it a very hard experience for myself, and it's just... So far it's been a cakewalk. The, the lights and everything are still on. I guess it's just my, my happy-go-lucky nature or something like that. I don't know. That's amazing to me. It seems kind of wrong. <laughs> Especially because if you look at the earlier episodes where I was playing with Plantage, I was, I was such a derp. I was dying every single episode, or at least every two to three episodes. But yeah, now it's just like, eh, whatever, dude. I know what I'm doing now. Well, this is the bathroom. This is a nice bathroom. We've got a lot of shit in here. I'd like to search it, but I need to get that uh, that lady away from the window first. Hey, lady! Hey, lady! Hey, you. Come over here. There you go. That's good. Bam. Bam. Done. And then I guess I could add a sheet, but uh, that's relatively pointless now, isn't it? I'm not planning on staying here too long. 
I just want to find some uh, water purification tablets. That would be really, really nice. I think I only have one pack, which uh, is not gonna last me very long once the once once everything goes terrible. Oh, sleeping tablets. Hmm. You shouldn't take sleeping tablets in real life, though. They they are known to cause death. That is true. There was a study um, about like the long-term effects of sleeping tablets, and they found that people who took sleeping tablets were like three or four hundred times more likely to die in their sleep. <laughs> Which, I don't know, maybe the people who took sleeping tablets were all old or some shit like that, but... Uh, just, just knowing that, I was like, I'm never going to do it again. You could take melatonin or something like that. That's good for you. Chew some valerian root. And now I can make a coin press and press my own coins, which will be useful when society gets back on its feet, which means never. <laughs> it's just me. It's just me out here, and I know it is. It's never going to be anybody else until they implement some uh, NPCs. I think that would be a really fucking cool thing, but uh, I'm not holding my breath for that either. Just like the vehicles, I do have a gigantic fucking stash of gas once the vehicles are implemented. But for right now, it's kind of mm, meh. Nothing do. Is this where my nails are? Yes. Yes, it is. Got a plank. Got a rope. Duct tape. Ooh, there's some more nails. I guess I could make a box now. Place nails in box. Ooh, I heard something in my in my right ear. Hmm. I don't like that none too much. I guess we should be a little more quiet. I say as there's like a party going on outside. It's hard to get like a moment of silence in the Philippines. You may have noticed since I since I moved here, um, the episodes are a bit louder as far as the background noise goes. And I hope that that's okay. I've been doing my best to try and work it out. Um, and yeah, it's it's not been terrible. I mean, if I really thought something was terrible, I'd be like, okay, scrap it. Holy shit. This is a really big house. I like this house a lot. Fancy digs y'all got here. UHT milk? What is that? What is this from? I don't trust it. Book, fish seasoning, chicken seasoning. I think you can use the same seasoning on fish or chicken, dude. You just get some lemon pepper. Lemon pepper the shit out of that. Yeah. Oh, maybe this is March Ridge. There is a, a church there. Ooh, could we disassemble the piano? I have a saw somewhere. Here it is. <laughs> I don't know why I want to disassemble the piano. I just do. Just to do it, I guess. Ho ho ho. Ho 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 ho. Oh, it, it's gonna take a long time. I'm gonna fast forward that a little bit. Oh wow. It gave me a bunch of planks and nails. That's so nice. Let's take apart this piano stool. <laughs> oh, carpentry's so useful. Take apart all kinds of shit. I mean, it was more useful as a <laughs> as a piano, I guess. If pianos even have have a use anymore, I, I assume that you know people in the apocalypse would still enjoy some music now and again. But uh, there's one less source of music, <laughs> thanks to uh, the the idle hands of Dayton. Does you see, idle hands are the devil's plaything, and I just uh. I just destroyed something beautiful. Hashtag Fight Club. <laughs> uh, let's get that bat back in the hands before I have to beat something to death with a with a hammer. That's not good. Nobody likes that. Doctor's bag secondary. Thank you so much. And uh, finish off this fish fillet. Go on. It's delicious. Boots, bra, satchel. Mm. Never anything for me in here. Vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna, I'm gonna disassemble this too. <laughs> I'm just into taking stuff apart today. I don't know what I got. Electronic scrap, I guess. Ah, whatever. I don't need this shit. <laughs> I 
I just I just want to see what's inside. You know what I mean? You ever been curious like that as a kid? Take apart a radio or something like that? Kids who do that usually grow up to be like engineers or some shit like that. That wasn't me. I took apart my Game Boy one time. By took apart, I just mean took the screen off to clean out some dust that got under there. And then, uh... <sighs> ended up getting way more dust into it. <laughs> go in for like... It, it's like a comedy thing. You go in for like the one little spot of ink or whatever, and then you end up making it 20 times worse. That's exactly what happened to my Game Boy. Still played it, you know, but uh... Don't don't give nice things to a, a five year old. <laughs> that was the lesson to myself. All right, there's nothing in here. We'll go uh, up the street, check out the church, see if we can find a little post office action. Whoa! Hello, hello. What are you doing? You just hiding? Hiding between the buildings? That's not good. You shouldn't do that. You could scare somebody. Ooh. And there's a, a cemetery next to the church. This is definitely a place we haven't been to yet. Which makes it pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. Oh, look at this. A pulpit? Oh. This is probably where the uh, the priest slept. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, I'm over here. I don't want to break that window. Damn it. Okay, good. <laughs> Ah, the pen is blue. The pen is blue. Hashtag liar liar. For uh, anybody curious, it's not just a crazy thing that I said. It's a crazy thing Jim Carrey said. <laughs> oh, there's not much in here. I expected them to have a bibble. There ain't even a bibble in this church. I guess it's a Jewish church. What do you call that? Synagogue? Why do they got fucking different names for all the all the buildings? It's like one is a I don't know what they call the Muslim one. I'm forgetting now. Ugh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Ooh, nitric acid. I bet I could do something cool with this. I bet I am gonna want to take it. Fuck, man. All right. Don't ask me why I'm taking it. I I'm just hoping that uh. I can make a bomb or something with it. You add some, uh, whatever. Again, Fight Club. Why are we referencing Fight Club so much in this episode? You, you make the, the soap or whatever, and you scrape the glycerin off the top, and then you add the nitric acid, and then you got nitroglycerin. You know what I'm talking about? Anybody watch that movie? Oh, everybody did. It's not like Home Improvement, where nobody watched it. <laughs> This episode seems to be going on quite a long time, and uh, I'm getting a little drowsy now. I'm going to sleep on this bench and hope nothing bad happens. It's going to be fine. Hold your breath. It's going to be fine. Okay, it's getting late. Wake up now. Oh shit. It's late as fuck. <laughs> I don't like this. I'm next to the graveyard and shit. Okay, maybe I should go home, but it seems a little, a little late to be uh, heading out that way. Fuck, man. I didn't think this one out at all. <laughs> As usual, Dayton, you ruined everything. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go back to that big ass ball and house and uh, set up some sheets. I did bring some sheets. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy sheet, if you will. Oh, man. Zombies get active at night. At night. They mostly come out at night. Mostly. There's a broken window there. I don't have time to patch it, so I'm going to check another room. Uh, there's some more nitric acid. Is this something that was added into the game recently? I've never seen it before, and now I'm uh, quite curious about it. Okay, let's just close these curtains. And uh, we'll, we'll get back home in some future episode. I'm running out of space, uh, as I'm not surprised. But it's been a pretty good, uh, pretty good episode. We found some maps and shit, which I think is uh, pretty, pretty fortuitous 
Look at this. Look at this police station, town hall, church. This is this is where my base is set up. There's a school over there. Oh, so we're we're going mostly east, not north. Interesting. North is towards the river. Anyways, friends, I'm fascinated. <laughs> we'll definitely be back to this game. I love how they keep adding new stuff in. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching, friends, and I hope that you will like, comment. And or subscribe if you did enjoy the content and would like to see some more. Because I would love so much to bring it to you. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. And until the next time, friends. Bye-bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.